The summers in Southern California are hot and very dry with little or no rain for months. Stream beds dry up and there's not much you can do if you run out of water in a survival situation other than make good use of your solar panel to charge a small device. If your canteen runs dry, then it's time to get creative with water gathering. Evapotranspiration is the process by which water is transferred from the land to the atmosphere by transpiration from plants. While many plants stop growing during the dry season, laurel sumac is unique in that it continues to grow. Here's how to collect that precious moisture from the green stems of a plant. For this task, I need plastic baggies and small stones. I'm going to place 10 small Ziploc baggies on the ends of the stems to see how much water I can collect in several hours on a dry summer day. Even though this laurel sumac bush appears barely alive, there are still green stems on the north side of the plant. Each baggie is placed over the end of a single stem and weighted with a small clean stone so that the water will collect in the bottom of the baggie. Then I simply seal the baggie with the Ziploc mechanism. I repeat this process with the remaining nine baggies. A few of the baggies I seal even more tightly with a small piece of monofilament fishing line. After all the baggies have been placed, I will have to wait several hours and then see what happens. In a genuine survival situation, you will want to try and stay as cool as possible during this time of waiting. It would be best to find shade and lie down and rest in order to minimize the effects of dehydration. Remember, this technique of using transpiration baggies to collect water should only be used in a genuine survival situation. About six hours later, I emerge from my resting spot to check the results. The transpiration baggies are all fogged up as expected. Droplets of water cover the interior of each of the baggies. Ants even found the precious collection of liquid in a few of the baggies. In the bottom of each baggie, a small amount of water has collected. Now I'm going to combine all the water into one baggie to see exactly how much I managed to collect today. First, I shake each baggie so the water droplets will fall to the bottom, and then I very carefully remove the baggie from the branch. It would be disastrous to accidentally spill and lose any of the valuable water. I then remove the stone and before tossing it, lick some of the moisture that's on it. So, these are the results. 10 small Ziploc sandwich baggies on the stems of a very dry laurel sumac bush on a warm August day with temperatures in the 80s in San Diego, California, produced a little less than a quarter cup of water. But that little bit of water tasted so delicious. While this amount won't get you far in a survival situation, it would at least help keep you alive a little longer. Based on these results, 40 bags would give you almost a cup of water. Certain species of other plants may even produce more water. I will have to experiment and see what happens. The important thing is that it have growing stems because that is where the water will be concentrated. Is it safe to drink? I would avoid practicing this technique with poisonous plants, but laurel sumac is perfectly safe. Thanks for watching.